brilliant news. In 2018, 12 members of the Wild Boars soccer team, along with their coach, got trapped in a cave in northern Thailand. The story shocked the world and Elon decided to try to help. Using parts from his SpaceX company, he made a child-sized submarine to help extract the kids who didn't know how to swim. Unfortunately, the mini-sub was deemed unsuitable for the rescue mission due to the tight bends in the underground caves. Elon's work was appreciated though and he left the sub in Thailand in case it could be used in future rescue missions. Ad Astra was a school that Elon Musk developed after becoming unsatisfied by how normal schools teach. In 2014, Musk started the experimental school on the SpaceX campus, and there it ran for six years. The students were Musk's own children and the children of other SpaceX employees. The school had no standard classes and preferred to teach kids how to work together, be creative, and solve problems based on technique called first principles reasoning, which is basically just taking a problem right back to its roots to then solve it from there. Musk used this reasoning to create cheaper car batteries rather than accepting that batteries were expensive and always would be. He broke a battery down to its key components and made a cheaper way of assembling them. Starting out as an April Fool's joke on Twitter, Elon tweeted that Tesla was going bankrupt and that Elon was found passed out against a Tesla Model 3 surrounded by Tesla Keeler bottles, the tracks of dried tears still visible on his cheeks. In October of that same year, Tesla submitted a trademark application for Tesla Keeler, describing the product as a distilled agave liquor. Now in 2021, Tesla Tequila is a product on the Tesla website. At the time of this video, it is currently out of stock, but if you're lucky for just $250, you could get your hands on a lightning bolt shaped glass bottle of tequila añejo. I still think they should have called it Tesquila. What about you? Let us know what you think in the comments. So you've probably heard about Elon's different spaceships, but you may not know about the extent of his plans for Mars. Every two years, planet Earth and Mars are suitably aligned to send rockets from one to the other, so therefore any delay will mean a two-year wait for the next opportunity. By 2022, Elon plans for at least two unmanned cargo ships to make their way to Mars. In 2023, he plans to send Japanese billionaire Yukazu Maizawa and six to eight others on a trip around the moon. In 2024, he plans to send two cargo ships yeah. and two cruise ships. These cruise ships will be tasked with setting up a propellant production plant. By using Martian water in the form of ice and carbon dioxide, they'll create methane and liquid oxygen to fuel the ship's return trip. The crew would have to collect a ton of ice a day to fuel the plant. The crew would also have to set up solar-powered hydroponics to grow their own food. Elon also has plans to terraform Mars by detonating nuclear missiles at its poles to make tiny artificial suns to warm the planet enough to induce an atmosphere similar to Earth's. However, a Russian news agency article concluded that Elon would need more than 10,000 high payload nuclear missiles to achieve this, to which Elon replied, no problem. In December 2016, Elon got so fed up with traffic that he tweeted, Traffic is driving me nuts. I'm gonna build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. Three hours later, he responded, I am actually going to do this. That same day, he founded the Boring Company. Two years later, he unveiled an underground tunnel prototype. Guests and reporters rode in a Tesla Model S to an elevator that took them nearly 30 feet down to a narrow tunnel. They then traveled through the tunnel at 40 miles per hour. In the future, Elon Elon says the tunnels will be both faster and smoother, but this isn't the only product that the Boring Company has come up with. In 2017, the Boring Company made $1 million by selling 50,000 hats. In 2018, they decided to completely ignore their Boring trademark and make $10 million by selling flamethrowers. Elon had to market them as not a flamethrower for legal reasons. And the truth is they weren't really flamethrowers, just roofers' torches. Elon told everyone that it was a stupid stupid idea and that they shouldn't buy it, which of course increased sales. 20,000 units sold out very quickly. 
Elon co-founded Neuralink in 2016. The idea behind the project is to be able to connect the human brain to AI technology. This would enable someone with severe spinal injuries to interact with computers using their brains. Once the technology is fully developed, people will be able to interact with robotic arms or legs, phones or computers, basically anything that uses electronics to function. It would also pave the way for a future of bionic upgrades. Brains linked to the internet enabling us to know things with without having to learn them first. Scary stuff, right? Well, Elon thinks so. Elon knows the future is in AI, and that scares him. He actually says it's the biggest risk we face as a civilization, and that we need to regulate AI and robotics before it's too late. This is why he co-founded OpenAI in 2015. It's a non-profit research company whose mission is to build safe artificial general intelligence, or AGI, and ensure that its benefits are available to all, and its findings can be accessed by all. Elon acquired Solar City in 2016, and its mission is to provide solar power to all. In order to power the US, you would need an area the size of the Mojave Desert covered in solar panels. The company have attacked this problem by creating roof tiles that are actually solar panels. Because everyone needs a roof, right? The idea is that instead of installing traditional tiles, you install these solar tiles, gaining not only a roof, but also a power plant. The tiles are guaranteed for your house's life lifetime and are available in smooth, textured slate and Tuscan styles. You can also get something called the power wall to store excess energy you've generated. Has your Tesla's new car smell been replaced by your own stank? Are you tired of the smell of failure and want a whiff of the sweet scent of success? Well, we have the solution for you. Elon's Musk. Created by fans of the billionaire of the same name, Elon's Musk combines various aromas, leather and clean public bathrooms are balanced beautifully with tones of old lady and rocket fuel. You can buy one for just $10 or get a three pack for just $22.49 on sale now. Did Elon's invention surprise you? Give us a like and subscribe for more.